Boom. All right. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and I actually had to go buy another Rode Wireless Go set because I sweat into the other one and it broke it. And so pretty much, and I didn't realize it fast enough, so pretty much a majority of the vlog for moving the mining farm into the temporary location is bunk. Uh, that being said, we haven't got to actually moving the rigs yet, so we will be able to basically head on over and show you guys what we've completed so far. We are going to be testing mining pools over or via a Verizon hotspot today. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that. And that's the primary focus of this video is we are going to be setting up a hotspot along with a wireless extender that has an ethernet port attached to it, connecting the extender to the hotspot, connecting, of course, a PC to the ethernet, and then testing our mining pool latency and making sure we're good to go and they'll be heading into town to move a little bit more equipment provided everything went well tomorrow we will start moving the mining rigs i will be headed to home depot right now though to pick up another shelving unit before we get started so welcome aboard let's get rolling Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Alrighty, you guys ready to see the new farm location? Temporary at least? Let's go. Alrighty. This is it. So this will be our little office area. It's actually huge in here if you wanted to move a lot of people in. Um, and basically the reason we're here is just because we can't move in where our normal location is. So I'm stuck, but there's storage in here, probably won't use it. And then the, like another little room, we got a toilet. I did get, I did bring that cause we need, to, my wife said, you need somewhere to put the toilet paper. And I was like, all right, fine. So that's it in there. And then we'll be moving to a much smaller place later. But for now, this is what we got. I did put, I just threw the shelves there. This is an old safe. I don't know what it's doing here. Keep my Bitcoin. <laughs> it's in the way and there's also water in the floor on the way. So I guess we'll put some rigs over there and roll this away somewhere. Anyways. Right now, we need to get this hooked up. So we have a Linksys Wi-Fi extender and a Verizon hotspot. We're going to get it hooked up, see if it'll work. And then we'll go get more stuff. Yeah. The, the hoodie from the USC. I was cold at the USC. Okay, so let me get this all cleared off here. Let me get the, I'm just gonna plug the hotspot in back over here. Let me get my laptop out. All right. So I tested latency and to speed test it was 30, 30% something like that, or sorry, 30 milliseconds. All right, so this says charging complete. All right, so we should have the info to connect to this hotspot at least. 
There we go. And let's get the password in. Now I have a guide on what we're about to do here if you guys need to check it out, but we're going to be checking out latency to the mining pool. And specifically, we're going to be checking Ethermine here. We're getting EOF, EOF, that's not good, or that was high on, okay, I see what's going on. So we'll need to change this, and it's like 700 milliseconds, so that's not good. No packet loss though, and let's check two miners. about the same 700 milliseconds somewhere around there. I'm curious because I was getting much better so we're going to go to speedtest.net and we may have to get the 5G one. I wouldn't make much sense though because the phone's still 4G. This hotspot might need to move Maybe to the window or outside, to the window, to the well. Yeah, that, that pings real bad. So let's move this out. Maybe over to here. See if we get better out by the window. Let's just refresh this test. See if speed test is getting better now. I was getting like 30 milliseconds out here on the phone with Verizon, which is why we went ahead and sprung for the hotspot. But it looks like we might still have some issues here. Ping 393. Okay, let me test on the phone real quick. The ping closer out to there seems to be lower, so I'm going to move this out where it would be anyways, and we'll check it out. We may have lost connectivity to it. No, we're still good. Let's see what it's out if we're out there. That might not be reflecting good either though. So ping's better, but we we're really looking for sub 200 milliseconds. So stop that. Let's hit ether mine again. 501, 355, 525. So we've moved it about as high up as you can go. That just made it worse, maybe. Okay. Nope. A whole second. <laughs> oh, man. All right, boys. Well, it looks like while we did have 30 millisecond pings here just like yesterday on the Verizon hotspot, today we do not. And that means that we will probably not ever get 30 millisecond ever again. And I'm in trouble because we can't get internet out here and I have to move all the mining rigs. So unfortunately, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm gonna go continue moving everything out that I can from the old spot and then we'll kind of go from there. If you guys need to test latency to mining pools, uh, you're looking for sub 200 milliseconds at least, but there is a guide up on the channel, so definitely go check that out. Thanks for coming along with me today to check this out, and this door just slammed. <laughs> but this is kind of it. This is our temporary spot. It looks like it's just going to end up being a storage unit because I can't get anything to go well in the past two months. It's absolutely insane. See you next Tuesday. All right, boys, we did it. 
I think we're okay now. We moved the, the hot spot around, figured out a spot where it sort of works. And right now, we are sitting at 60 to 80 milliseconds on the response time. Yes. All right, so now, I am going to, well, let's see here. Bam, fix that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and head out and grab a couple rigs. And we're probably just gonna mount them like in here on that little for testing. And we're gonna see how one of them mines overnight. We got a few days to get this in. I'm hoping I can plug into the ethernet port on here, but I'm not really sure um, if this one works. Anyways, we'll figure it out, figure it out. We got, we're, we're connected, we're good. Hey, 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 look at this hair. I don't need a haircut. We did it. We have a rig online and it's mining off of a hot spot. Check it out. All right, so proof of concept so far. 8x5600 XT rig. Not very in focus because we're set up for <laughs> vlogging, but we also have this Linksys Wi Fi adapter, and that connects to the MiFi Verizon hotspot over here. If we leave it right there, we got 50 milliseconds and it came online, it showed online on my cell phone, said it's good to go. We'll see how long it lasts, but that'll do it for today. So, oh, that feels good. Wrapping up for today, we have everything but eight rigs moved and they are, they're still cranking away. And we have pretty much everything sorted. It looks like we're five days out from internet. We got a temporary internet solution figured out. I don't know if I'll move the other rigs over unless I absolutely have to and hook them up to this setup. But for now, it looks like we do have a backup. We'll see how it rolls for the next 24, 48 hours. And I'll let you guys know how mining on a hot spot works. This is specifically Verizon. In the middle of nowhere, Texas. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.